As a food microbiologist, I work with pathogens, uh, bad bacteria, the bad bugs. Uh, we try to kill them, we try to inhibit them, we prevent them from becoming a problem in food safety. The other side of the coin, we also work with good bacteria, the good bugs, uh, those that are beneficial, that can be helpful in terms of food safety. Uh, when we talk about bacteria in food, we're probably familiar, we're all familiar with the use of uh, bacteria in culturing yogurt, uh, traditionally made with two bacteria. Uh, as a standard of identity for yogurt manufacture. They've also, in recent years, added an additional bacteria that's good for human digestive health, bifidobacteria. And since then, we've now the public has become, I guess, perhaps more accepting and more familiar with probiotics, uh, healthy bacteria. And now they're showing up as tablet form on the, uh, in the uh, medicine area of the uh, supermarket uh, chains. Uh, and not only for adult health, but also for kids. They have gummies that have probiotic bacteria. And as many as five billion active cultures uh, in each tablet. So we're, we are now becoming familiar with the use of probiotics. So, but it's, it's perhaps good to, if you're going to consider them, uh, inquire with your doctor as well.